Hello and welcome to our discussion on the importance of whistleblowing. Today we will delve into the ethical, financial, legal and societal aspect of whistleblowing. We will explore the protections available for whistleblowers and examine the effectiveness of these protections in Canada, United States of America and United Kingdom. We will also look at some arguments against whistleblowing and share an international example of whistleblowing. So let's get started. Let's talk about what actually is whistleblowing. Whistleblowing policy is a set of rules or guidelines given to the stakeholders like employees, vendors or contractors of an organization that basically gives them authority to raise their voice against any unethical practices like scam, fraud, corruptions, etc. happening within the organization. The key idea behind these policies is to actually make the stakeholders aware of all the activities that are considered illegal or unethical and basically it empowers them to raise their voices against such activities. Also you know who are the whistleblowers? So whistleblowers are those incredibly daring individuals who basically report these illegal activities that are happening within the organization. A key aspect of whistleblowing policy is its anonymity clause which basically guarantees the whistleblowers that no matter what their identity will be kept secret or anonymous unless they actually want to come ahead and disclose themselves. Let's talk about its ethical importance. So whistleblowing is an ethical imperative that contributes to organizational well-being and societal betterment. The first and the foremost ethical significance is to enable justice by bringing a light to fraud or misconduct. Transparency is fostered when employees fearlessly report these ir irregularities ensuring that the truth prevails. Secondly, Businesses must safeguard their employees. Whistleblowing identifies threats including cybersecurity risk which might not directly involve employees misconduct. Thirdly, it encompasses regulatory requirements. Publicly traded companies in the United States are legally obligated to implement whistleblower channels. Laws like Sarbanes-Oxley Act and Dodd-Frank Act mandate whistleblowers systems even private businesses working on government contracts must adhere to these requirements let's talk about some financial legal and societal importance of whistleblowing talking about first financial importance so whistleblowing helps organizations save money by identifying and stopping fraudulent activities for instance, a whistleblower exposing financial misconduct can aid in recovering stolen funds. Other than that, by uncovering misconduct, whistleblowers prevent financial losses due to fraud. So let's take an example. Like in 2020, international public bodies lost approximately around 0.5% to 5% of their spending to fraud alone. So, effective whistleblowing minimizes damage to an organization's reputation, which can have long-lasting financial consequences. Let's talk about some legal significances as well. So, many countries now recognize the critical role of whistleblowers in reducing corruption and improving integrity. Approximately 30 countries have dedicated whistleblower laws with additional legal protections as well. Whistleblowers may face legal consequences for violating non-disclosure agreement or other employment contracts. Balancing legal obligations with ethical responsibility is very crucial. Let's talk about some societal impacts as well. So, uh, there are like imposing wrongdoing. So, 
whistleblowers play a pivotal role in maintaining integrity. They bring attention to unethical or illegal activities that might otherwise go unnoticed. It involves public trust as well. So by speaking out, whistleblowers help restore public trust in organizations. Their actions demonstrate accountability and correctiveness intent. Transparency and accountability is one of the key factors. Whistleblowing encourages transparency, fostering a culture of openness and honesty. It holds organizations accountable for their action. Let's talk about some different type of whistleblower protection that exists. So very first is internal whistleblowers. So who are internal whistleblowers? Uh, they report misconduct within their own organizations. They raise concern directly with a superior authority within the company in itself. Uh, example include an employee reporting a fraud committed by a co-worker to the CEO or the head of human resources. So the company handles the matter it, uh, internally only, taking necessary actions without any government involvement. Next is external whistleblowers. So they basically report misconduct to outside authorities. So they disclose information to entities like law enforcement agencies, media groups, uh, regulators or high government officials. For instance, a contractor might report a significant scam to a government agency, maybe like police or some high group, higher groups. So now let's explore the jurisdictional differences in whistleblower protection laws between Canada, United States of America, and United Kingdom. Let's talk about United States of America first. So there are many protection acts which are which are uh, like developed in the United States. So the very first act is Whistleblower Protection Act (WPA). So what it does, it provides safeguard against retaliation for federal employees who report violation of laws, regulations, or ethical standards. Next is Sarbanes-Oxley Act. So it focuses on protecting employees of publicly traded companies who expose financial misconduct or fraud. Other than that, there is one Dodd-Frank Act as well. So what it does, it offers protection for whistleblowers who report violations related to securities and commodities trading. Talking about Canada, Canada has recognized the importance of protecting whistleblowers and has introduced legislations. So similar to USA, Canadian legislation provides compensation for reporting persons in the public sector who suffers adverse actions due to whistleblowing activities. Talking about United Kingdom, so there is one act, uh, Public Interest Disclosure Act, PIDA. So it provides legal safeguards for whistleblowers. And there is one Financial Conduct Authority, FCA, which rules uh, like these regulations enhance protection for fin financial service whistleblowers. While the United Kingdom offers protection Compensations mechanisms may differ from those in Europe, United States and Canada. So talking about the effectiveness of whistleblower protection in Canada, USA and UK. Whistleblower protection systems vary across countries based on traditions, scope and national legislations. Evaluating their effectiveness is crucial to ensure transparency accountability, and ethical behavior. Let's explore the assessment of whistleblower protection in Canada, USA, and United Kingdom. So let's talk about Canada first now. So Canada has made progress in recognizing the importance of whistleblower protection. Despite it has faced many challenges, like gaps exist in the scope and applications of protection, um, the standard standards of evaluating effectiveness remains somewhat vague. Talking about United States, the US has well-established whistleblower protection laws. 
laws like Dodd-Frank Act and Sarbanes-Oxley Act provide significant safeguards and transparency in retaliation cases has helped assess the effectiveness of US laws. Financial awards for whistleblowers have also been introduced in recent times. So in United Kingdom, so the UK increasingly emphasizes whistleblower protection. The PIDA, Public Interest Disclosure Act, provides legal safeguards. The FCA enhances protection in financial services. PIDA is more comprehensive and holistic than Canada's legislation. Talking about the arguments against whistleblowing, there are many different factors like job career threat, allegations and financial impacts, uh, uncertainties and dilemmas. So let's talk about these. Talking about job and career threat, uh, whistleblowers risk retaliation from employers which can jeopardize their job security and future career prospects. While some protection exists, whistleblowers may still face challenges in getting hired in related field due to their actions. Uh, whistleblowers might have partial visibility into potential wrongdoing. Incorrect allegations that do not hold up legally or factually can harm both the whistleblowers and organization. Talking about financial impact, Whistleblowing can lead to expensive court cases, fines, and compensation payouts for companies. Uh, it, it just not only damages them financially, but it damages their reputation as well. Like public exposure of misconduct damages a company's reputation and employees' morale. Um, other than that, there are many uncertainties and dilemmas as well. So whistleblowing is a significant step and the dilemma of reporting versus maintaining the status quo is not easy. Whistleblowers must carefully weigh the impact on society against their personal risk. So okay, now let's talk about some non-USA examples of whistleblowing from like past 25 years. So let's take reference of India. Satin Dubey. In November 20, 2003, Satin Dubey, an engineer, worked on the Golden Quadrilateral project of the National Highway Authority. Dubey blew the whistle on alleged corruption and irregularities within the project. Sadly, his courageous act led to his untimely death. He was killed for exposing wrongdoing. Satin Dubey's case became a symbol of the need for stronger whistleblower protection in India. Other than that, there's another case of Shan Mughan Manjunath. So in 2005, Shan Mughan Manjunath, an officer with the Indian Oil Corporation, which is like one of the biggest company in India, uncovered a petrol pump selling contaminated gasoline. Manjunath reported the malpractice risking his own safety. He was murdered for his actions, highlighting the dangers faced by whistleblowers. So, his sadly de uh, untimely demise uh, even left a great impact. Like a uh, film, Manjunath was made on his story uh, in 2014 based on this in incident shedding light on the importance of whistleblowing. So let's conclude our discussion on whistleblowing. Remember, whistleblowing plays a vital role in maintaining ethical, financial and legal standards in our society. Thank you for watching the video. I will be sharing some articles related to, the, to our discussion in the description.